Welcome back. On behalf of Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Trade and Industry Niveen Gema, on Monday launched Akhbar al 8th Economic Conference. The conference is held under the theme 100 billion US dollars in exports. Dream is possible. More details. Under the theme exports worth 100 billion US dollars, the dream is possible. The eighth economic conference organized by the Akbar Yum Press Institution was launched on Monday. Opening the conference, Minister of Trade and Industry Nifin Gema said the government is working on five axes as part of Egypt's strategy 2030. Reading out Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli's speech to the conference, the Trade and Industry Minister added that the foremost axis is the industrial development with the aim of increasing exports. In this regard, the Minister said the Industry Ministry endorsed an export support program that offers incentives to enhancing exports, notably to Africa. Mr. Gemma said the government also have launched the Structural Reform National Program for Developing Industry, which helped mitigate the fallout of coronavirus crisis. On his part, Mr. of Petroleum and Mineral Resources Tariq El Mullah said the oil sector suffered badly following the 25th January revolution amid low investor confidence. However, he added the past seven years witnessed reforms and regulation upgrade that led to record gas exports atop of other Arab countries. The minister said the oil sector intends to provide extra 4 million housing units with gas as part of Decent Life Initiative. In his address to Akbar al Yum's economic conference. Minister of Electricity Mohammed Shekir said the conference is a national platform to exchange views and lay down investment opportunities in state sectors. The minister said despite challenges in generating power for local consumption, recurrent electricity outages was completely ended. Egypt welcomed the agreement reached between Sudan's top general Abdel Fattah al-Burhan and Sudanese Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdouk. In a statement, the foreign ministry praised the Sudanese party's efforts to reach a settlement over the transitional period in a way that serves Sudan's interests and opens horizons of development and prosperity for the Sudanese people. The agreement, signed on Sunday, says Hamdouk will lead a government of technocrats during a political transition expected to last until 2023 and that all political detainees are to be freed. Meanwhile, U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the United States is encouraged by a breakthrough deal in Sudan, but he cautioned authorities against using excessive force to quell protests. <laughs> 